So <clears throat> when you have a uh, touch mix uh, mixer from QSC and you pair it with a pair or a series of K.2 speakers from QSC, you can actually ac access the features of the, sp of the speakers right in the mixer, which is really cool because then you don't have to go behind the speakers and keep you know fiddling with that. You can, you can just access it right from the interface of the mixer. So let's uh, take a look at how that works. All right, cool. So if we select the mix bus that we're using, whether it's the main bus or an AUG Sen master, if we select that, now we have tabs across the top. Overview, parametric EQ, graphic EQ, uh, anti-feedback, limiter, different presets. But if we go to setup, now we're able to choose whether we're using QSC amplifiers, E-series, K-series, K dot two series, KLA, K, KLA, or KW series. So in this instance, we're using two K8.2 uh, speakers. So I'm going to select K.2. 8.2 is the model. And now we have these different presets that we can choose from. Note that they're the same presets that are on, that are on the back of the speaker, but now we can do it remotely from the touch mix. So as long as the speaker is set to the dance, uh, or excuse me, the, the default preset. Um, now we can change what preset uh, we're sending to them with the touch mix. So when you're, at, when you're at the back of the speaker, you set it to default. And then if you set it to anything else, then you won't have access to the, to change it. It just stays there. Is that right? Right. Okay. So now these speakers, we already checked, they're set to default. So w now they're on actually d a dance a dance uh, EQ setting, which I would imagine is kind of like, I don't know, mids and lows. Kind of, I don't yeah, know. I'll probably just DJ chick, 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 one, two, chick, 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 one, two. You want to change it to stage monitor once because that's kind of how we're using chick, so one, I'll, two. So I'll select the stage monitor one preset, hit recall preset. It's going to say, do you want to recall this preset? Yes. Check one, two. Okay, so that seemed to put some compression on it almost. Is that, do you think there's some? It sounds like it took out some of the low frequencies. Check, okay. Check one, two. And why would it do that for a stage monitor? P probably because you're pretty much always going to have it for vocals mostly? Yeah, get rid of some of the low uh, rumble frequencies that could, that could build up on a stage. Check one, two. So check, check, check. Let's try live bright. Recall, this is one of my favorite presets. Yes. Check one, two. Yeah, yeah. So, so it added some of that low end back in, and it's kind of smooth throughout the spectrum. Yeah. In my opinion, anyway. Yeah, it's, I, think, I like that one. Check one, two. Especially if you're not trying to put, you know, even if you're putting guitars or stuff like you're still going to have, you know, it's going to be a nice mix, you know. I mean, very rarely would you put... Well, I mean, I guess you could put some, like, kick drums or bass guitars through the monitors, and maybe you might not use it if you have a lot of that going sure. on. But, um, yeah, that's for, for a room like this, you know, it sounds great. Um, and you can also remotely add delay um, to the speaker as well. So you can do that on the back of the uh, K.2 series speaker, but you can also do it here in the touch mix. And you're saying w for delay... That's if you have speakers set in different areas of a club or something. So you're, you're like, say you have a, a set of monitors 50 feet away or a set of speakers 50 feet away from the stage. You want to delay them so the people in the back are getting the sound at the same time. Is that right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So if you have the main PA right near the stage, maybe those are set to have no delay. But then if you have another set of the same speakers 100 feet back um, so the people way in the back of the festival can hear or the club can hear the same sound. If you didn't set any delay in the back, then there would be kind of a, uh, an echo you know, from the time you're hearing the first set of speakers to the back set of speakers. So if we set some delay time on the back set so the people in the back are hearing the sound from the main speakers near the stage and the speakers way in the back at the same time so it sounds the most natural. So you can yeah. add delay here so we can the easiest way to do that is to you know to stand right where the um, uh, the back speakers are 
have a little laser measure tape um, or, or a tape measure and figure out the physical distance from the back speakers to the front speakers and just you know add that amount of feet um, or meters to the signal and it'll kind of calculate the amount of milliseconds that's that's going to be adding to this back, back set of speakers yeah so any any other features with the the speakers that you want to highlight in here uh, well uh, just that you have the different um, so that's a KLA series yeah, yeah. if you're using KLA or KW series you have the different uh, um, units there as well so uh, that's kind of the main overview anyways. okay I think be, you know, so is that going through the different presets and figuring out what you like best uh, for the space so is that are they set to the bright uh, conf the bright now stage mount or uh, what are they set to right Let's now? Let's check it out. I'm not quite sure. So, 8.2, 8.2. I think we're back at default. Let's just verify that we're back at default. So, default, recall preset. Yeah, check, so check, check. And now we're back at default. So let's let's set them to uh, bright for okay. in here because I, I, I think that's going to work for, for us. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Check, 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 one, two, check, 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 yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it there. 